Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the voice script in Unreal Engine 4. To create an NPC with voice dialog and some more have the subtitles that will appear at here. So first you can see, now I already have the, the WAV file, 01, 02 and 03. Then I, I also already write scripts here. The first one, hi, my name is Lucas. Okay, it's 01. Hi, my name is Lucas. And the second one? Hi, I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. And the third one? Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. So you can see, all of them are the kid's voice that I generate. I generated it by using the TTS. So you can just scroll down to the video descriptions. I already published a few tutorials about how to create a voice script. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to create a voice script. But actually, it is pre pretty easy. You can just learn from other tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make all these scripts and the subtitles to appear in in your games that when you talk with NPC it appear the subtitles and also speak out the voice. Alright, so just refer to the first step. The first step is to create an NPC. This is this is just a third person game that I just created. It is totally empty and it is nothing here. So the first step Click the contents, click the third person blueprints, and it is under blueprints. And this is your third person character. It's really this one. This is the player. That is you. Later, when you play the games, this is the main character. So now I'm going to create an NPC. As demo, I will just direct copy the third person character. I right click and duplicate, and I will name it NPC. Alright. So now, under the NPC, I double click the NPC to make it different. I will just click the mesh and then I will change the material maybe to lake water material to make the NPC look a bit different. Now, I will just save this NPC and I will close. All right. So you can see that the NPC have different color. I'm going to drag out the NPC here. All right. And this is your main character. Next step, back to your content folder. And now I will just create a new folder here. Under the content folder, I will create a new folder. And I will name the new folder as voice script. Then I double click into the voice script. Make sure the voice, all the voices are WAV format. WAV. If you cannot see the file extensions, what you need to do is click the view, click here, click view, and then make sure you untick the height extension for known file type so that you can see all the file extensions. In order to create a WAV file, sometimes actually you are just use, using the voice recorder in Windows 10. And after you record it, for example, microphone testing, microphone testing, testing complete. Okay. Now, this is my recording today and I just recorded it. If you want to find your file, you just need to right click and open the file locations. All are in M4A format. If you want to convert it to become WAV, you need to have another software that is called Any Video Converter. I already give you the download link. Download the Any Video Converter for free. So, it is here. I already installed it in my computer. Everything you need to convert to WAV format, just need to drag in. Then the convert should select this one, the audio, and then WAV. 
convert to WAV, you click convert now. And actually, it is very quick. It already finished converted to WAV file. You can convert any of the media formats, audio format and video format even. So, in order to create your scripts, in other tutorial, I also show you how to convert the text to speech and with a lot of different voices and even can use a voice changer to hack your microphones and make your voice become kids or women. So this one, you can just refer other tutorial. And finally, you have to make sure all your WAV files are in short file names because you want to import into your Unreal Engine to make it become a voice script you need to make the file name as short as possible. All right. And just now, I already created a contents. The folder is here. It is under the voice script folder that I just created. Now I'm going to import this one, two, three. I hold the control key to select everything. I import all of this WAV file into my voice script folder. Now you can see 01. 0, 02 and 0, 03. Next, because of you want to make this NPC can be interact with the main character, that means your main character approach the NPC then it will start the voice dialogue together. At the same time also show you the subtitles. So what you need to do, you you click the contents and back to your third person's blueprint folder. It is under your blueprint folder again. This is your third person character and this is the player that is you. So double click it and then click the viewport, click the mesh. And now we are going to create a capsule. Click add components and search here, search the component capsule and then click the capsule collision. Now you can see this capsule is here. So we are going to put this capsule in front here and then I press press E so that I can drag here to rotate it. Rotate about 90 degree or you can change here 90 degree as well. This is negative 90 of rotation. All right. Then pull it to, sorry, click the capture again. Once selected, press W and then push it to the front so that it have a capsule collisions with the NPC later. Now, file, save. And this is just a capsule. It is invisible in your game. Next, close. All right, now, now it's your time, sorry. Now it's, it's your time to make this NPC can be available to start the voice script, to start the voice dialogue with you and also together with the script with the subtitles. So now make sure you already click and select the NPC. Then under the blueprints, click the blueprint and open level blueprint here. Now, just now, this file name is MPC, and what is the name under selected ones? The name is MPC, all right. So you right click here, right click your blueprint, add event for MPC2. Then select the collisions, click the little triangle beside the collisions, and then add on actor begin to overlap. Now, next, you totally have three types of the commands that you are going to use in this tutorial. The first one is print string. Because I already show you the, the dialogue here, the script is, the first one is Lucas say, hi, my name is Lucas. Then after that, Sophia will say, hi, I'm Sophia, nice to meet you. And again, Lucas will say, nice to meet you too. So for this simple script and also already have the, the audio included. So first, we are going to print string, drag down, drag it out here, search for print string. So under the print string, you can see the default is hello. So 
I'm going to copy, copy the first subtitle. This is the subtitle. I copy include the, the name, Control C to copy and then paste at hello here. Delete the hello first and then Control V to paste. All right, the next script, what you are going to do is you drag out. Now you want the voice, the voice to speak it out. You already have the voice script. This is a voice dialog. Drag out and then the command that you are going to use is play sound 2D. So I copy this. So I drag, drag it out to execute. I search here, control V to paste, play sound 2D. All right. To play which sound, this is this should be the first one. The first sound is 01. Hi, my name is Lucas. So just now, we already import all the voice script into the folder. Now you just need to select from here, 01. Just now the name is 01, I already put it. All right. Next. Check your sound. How many seconds here? Hi, my name is Lucas. It is two seconds. So, because of it is two seconds, you need to delay two seconds. Drag out, and then here you search for delay. It's under here, delay. Delay for two seconds. Here, duration, you type two. Because of it's two seconds, you need to plus one, make it become three. Because this is a dialogue conversation. Usually when people talk to you, you need to delay one, set, one more seconds before you reply to that person. So this voice script is two seconds here. You give the duration of delay about three seconds. All right. Under the delay, next, you drag it to another line here. Now, it's print string for the second voice script, print string again. Under the print string, you look back to your voice script. Sophia, all right. Hi, I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. Copy this sentence. Control C to copy, and I'm going to paste here to override the hello. Now, next, we also do the same thing. Of course, I can copy this. Control C and click here. Control V. And remember, this is sound zero two. All right. Next one. It, you need to delay as well. Control C and copy here. Remember to connect it. All right, sound zero two. You check your sound zero two. How many seconds here? Hi, I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. All right, it is totally three seconds. So three plus one is four. We are going to delay four seconds here. <coughs> you type a four here. Then, actually, you can just use your mouse to select everything and copy and then click here, paste here. Now it's the third line. Remember to drag it from here. The string should be the third script. It's under here, Lucas say, nice to meet you too. So I'm going to copy this. Control C to copy and under here, Control V. All right, print string and then play the sound should be 03. Name it properly, be systematic. And then how about the durations? Duration, how many seconds of the third script? Just need to have a check. Nice to meet you too. All right, this is one second. So one plus one equal two. So I'm going to delay two seconds here. So now everything well done. This print screen, this print string, it will act as a subtitles and then the sound will act as a voice script. Now, file save and also compile. Remember to compile and then file save. Now I can close this already. So now this NPC already can interact with you. Now I try to test play. Play. All right. So now I approach the NPC. Hi, my name is Lucas. Hi, I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you can see the subtitles will appear here. So I demo again. Approach the NPC. Hi, my name is Lucas. Subtitle is here. 
Hi, I'm Sophia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. You can see the effect is really awesome. Just need to use a few minutes. Just within two minutes, you can create the subtitles and also the voice script. If you want to create more voice script, you can just use the balaboka and generate by using the text to speech. And remember, I already published all the, the best tutorial at here. 100 text to speech voice unlocked for, for your balaboka. And on, also, you can use the artificial intelligent TTS. This is a paid version. And then the balaboka is a free version. Or you can generate the WAV files with different types for females, male, men and women, children. Or you can just use your microphones with your voice changer. The voice changer is the more box. So if you really want to create a, a lot of high quality dialogues, please go and check, check all these tutorials about how to create voice script, all in WAV format. And for today, I already finished demo how to create create the dialogue interactions with the subtitles. And it is really awesome. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these Hi, tutorials my name is Lucas. are very helpful to your 3D animations Hi, and Sophia. game developing. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alright. If you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and at the same time also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy anima animations.